passion for Juice Master. Now, it sounds like I'm bigging myself up by saying passion for Juice Master. There is a perfectly good reason why this recipe is called Passion for Juice Master. A friend of mine, Trish Tucker, runs a company called Passion for Juice, uh, where she goes around with a mobile juice bar. Her juices are beautiful. Uh, one morning, we was at an event together, and uh, she was running a juice bar, and I thought I'd just throw things in as my own recipe, and she made some suggestions. So we made a combination of a recipe, and hence it's called Passion for Juice Master. Now we have one apple, we have a quarter of a pineapple, whole banana, but you only want a quarter of this once it's open. Now some people um, blend a banana with the skin on. Now a banana is in fact a herb. A banana is not a fruit nor a vegetable. There you go, a little factoid for you there. Um, however, you can, yes, blend this with the skin on. Uh, I sh will suggest not to do that. <laughs> I would suggest to always take the skin off of the banana. And again, this is a great, great, great recipe. Now, you've been having a lot of green recipes, they still taste sweet, but this is almost like a, a dessert recipe, it's really, really nice. Now, in order to maximise the nutrient content within this smoothie rather than a juice, again, we're using some spirulina, incredibly, incredibly high in iron, vitamin B12, so if you are a vegetarian or a vegan, pound for pound, this contains more protein, or to be more accurate, amino acids, the building blocks for protein, than even something like red meat. Now, if you are a vegetarian or a vegan, if you have some kind of lactose intolerance, because this can sometimes happen, we have some yogurt in with this recipe. You can get soy yogurt. However, before you run out and start buying soy yogurt, I just want to point something out to you here, is that if you are lactose intolerant, as many, many people are these days, what I would suggest is you don't necessarily need to keep off all dairy, especially when it comes to natural live yogurt, because the live cultures contained within this yogurt actually dissolve the lactose. So what happens is if you are lactose intolerant, then you can have, or most people can have, live yogurt. Now you can use any brand. We happen to have Year Valley here. You can use whatever particular brand you like. Now we're only going to juice a couple of things in this recipe. We are going to juice the pineapple and the apple. The rest is going to go straight in the blend. Again, speed is of paramount importance when it comes to making a juice. The pineapple I'm juicing with the skin on, follow it through with the apple. Let's not mess around. Keep that juicing. As you put the banana in, you need half a tub, 200 grams of yogurt. Just pour it straight into the blender. Straight in. There we are. I've added a little bit more than half a tub. Sometimes you're not going to get it 100% accurate. This is a very important part. Again, you don't want to overdo the spirulina. It's where the nutrients are. This stuff going in with this juice all of a sudden adds some superpower nutrients into effectively what could be seen as a kind of a dessert. That's it. The juice is made. We will just put a small glass just to catch any any spillage there. All we do is pour that straight in and we're going to add some. We've got some beautiful ice. You can either blend that and pour it over the ice or as I prefer to do, I like to have a little bit of both. So I've put some of the ice in there and I've kept some in the glass. You can do whatever you like. Just add some ice, turn the press smoothie, we're off and running. Now you'll notice the colour that this turns. It doesn't take long to blend this because it's not like an avocado where you need it all to be rich and creamy. The banana blends really fast, of course, depending on the particular blender or smoothie maker that you have. But if you look at the colour, it's almost like a mint chop chip. I dare even say the word chop during the seven pounds and seven days program. I aware, I'm aware of this. Doesn't need blend very long. It's, again, 45 seconds to one minute. That should pretty much do it. Turn that off. Now again, this isn't like a meal, this is a meal, as we just pour this in. Now again, if you, if you don't like yoghurt for whatever reason, even if you don't like um, soy yoghurt or anything else, then make it, you can easily make this, by the way, if you just add some more pineapple juice or add some more apple juice, and then you blend it in, then you add the spirulina. If you really think soy yoghurt, no, real yoghurt, no, I don't like that, I don't want any dairy for the entire week, then either add some soya milk if you want to do that, you're welcome, you can make variations on this recipe. However, you want to keep it as is, you have friendly bacteria, the cultures found, of course, within the yogurt, you have banana, very, very high in potassium, really good for you, and then, of course, you have apple and pineapple, and once again, packed with nutrients, liquid fuel. That is a combination between myself and somebody called Trish Tucker. This is Passion for Juice Master. Cheers. Oh, that is scrumalicious.